Listen up. Indoor mask mandates, a lot of health experts say they really don't think North Carolina is that far from getting to that point. The Delta variant is leading to a rise in cases, primarily among unvaccinated people. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland live in Raleigh for us tonight. Michael, uh, even vaccinated people are being told to go ahead and wear their masks indoors uh, and wear masks are coming back. That's right, and there are some businesses here in North Carolina that do require all customers to wear masks, like Holly Park Pharmacy here in Raleigh. And there are some doctors I talked to who say they don't. <coughs> they expect to see more of this in the coming weeks. Vaccinated or not, when you go into Holly Park Pharmacy in Raleigh, you have to mask up. We have to do it until everything, everyone is safe. Samir Pai Kane is a pharmacist here. He's concerned North Carolina is going in the wrong direction with rising COVID-19 cases. The spread is very rampant recently, so uh, it makes more sense to wear masks now uh, just to make sure that everyone is protected. State health officials say this rise in cases fueled by the Delta variant is primarily among unvaccinated people. They account for more than 94% of cases. Dr. Cameron Wolf at Duke Health says it's similar when it comes to who ends up in the hospital. So I think if you look forward to a four weeks, it's, it's probably going to be a little worse than where we are now. Savannah, Georgia became the latest city Monday to reinstate an indoor <coughs> mask mandate, even for those who are fully vaccinated. We're, we're close to that point, frankly. If individual counties, or heck, even if the statewide mandate uh, were to be put back in place, I, you know, I'll be honest, I'll be supportive of it. He said it's disappointing because with the vaccine, it's preventable. A spokesperson for Governor Roy Cooper told me, though there's talk at the federal level of potential changes to the guidelines on masking, there is no plan yet for any additional statewide mandate. We're in a race, really, with COVID-19 and the Delta variant. Dr. Wolf says he's concerned that what could end up happening without a statewide rule is that you'd see communities with higher vaccination rates end up being more cautious and reinstating masking requirements, while those with lower vaccination rates don't. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyde.